In today's video, I'm gonna give you a peek into my current day page template and how I'm using my day page since Tan has introduced all their new core features. Hey, my name's Ev and I create YouTube videos to help you build your personal knowledge systems so you can turn your personal knowledge into powerful ideas. So I originally published a video way back at the end of 2022 on how I use my day page. And since then, a lot has changed. Tan has introduced some amazing new features like Google Calendar integration and related content. And I've also changed how I think about my day page a little. So in today's video, I want to cover what's changed on my day page and why. My current day page framework and how I think about the day page now. And then I want to give you a full walkthrough of my day page. So let's get into it. All right, so let's talk about what has changed. So originally when I first started my day page, it was very, very structured. So I used a lot of fields. I made sure that things were organized kind of inside those fields. And, and that's kind of how I, I used Tana for well over a year, okay? And so if we have a look at something that from kind of way back then, ignore the related content because I wasn't using related content back then, but you can see that there is kind of a lot of fields here. So I used to have a daily log field where I put all my journal entries. I used to bring in my week and my month plan into a field. I had my daily schedule. I had everything that I needed to do today. So all of those things were inside a field that I kind of kept contained. And then the rest of the page was simply just kind of me brain dumping and tagging things. And so if we look at what my day page looks like now, this is what it looks like. It's fresh. There's no fields. I, I use literally no fields anymore. So it's basically a blank canvas where I can just start brain dumping. I don't think of my day page as a place to contain or try to organize anything. I really think more about how can I get things out really fast, tag them, get them to where they need to go. And so now all those things that I need that relate to today mostly live inside this related content and also within these three sections at the top of my page. And so what that looks like when a page is kind of filled up, so at the end of a day, this is what it typically looks like. So you can see that I've got a whole lot of different stuff that I've dumped out, different ideas. You know, this is a YouTube video, a task I had to do, a uh, post. There's usually journal entries in here. There's a lot of different uh, posts in here. I must have been brain dumping that day. There's a journal log. So there's a whole lot of different things that I get out of my head every day. And this is what a day page looks like at the end of one of my days. So I use it much more now for just getting things out of my head and just a place to capture rather than a place to have to organize all of that, that stuff. So when I think about my day page and what I need so that it becomes a companion for me each day, I think about three different things that I need as components on my day page. So the first component that I want on my day page is what I call get present. And basically I wanna bring in everything that is related to today. Because for me, the day page isn't just a place to offload my thoughts. It's actually a place where I've already in the past offloaded things that I know I'm going to need today. And so I wanna be able to get onto the day page and see all of those things in one place. The second component that I want on my day page, I call get context, okay? So what kinds of things do I need access to to get all of my work done today? So for me, that includes things like what projects am I currently working on? Can I get to those easily? It includes what's on this week in context, what's on this month in context. And so I want a place where I can get to all that stuff really, really fast without having to jump into different parts of my Tana workspace. And the third component that I want on my day page is to get clear. I want it to be a place that I can just dump things in, get everything out of my head, connect them up and know that they're gonna end up where they need to go. By the way, if you wanna dive deeper into building a capture system that helps you get your best ideas out of your head and into the world, then check out my Mind Like Water Mastery Workshop. There is an entire module dedicated to building out a capture system that works how your brain works. All right, so let me show you everything on my day page, how it works, all of that kind of thing. So as you can see, um, it starts off pretty blank, okay? So I have at the top this 
word of the year. It's my word of the year. It's called Edge. And it reminds me every day what my word of the year is. And so it helps to prime my day. Then I have three different sections that live at the top of my day page. And they basically help me to, one, kind of see what I've got on, what's coming up, um, and kind of like the, the quick ways that I can jump into everything that I use pretty regularly, okay? So the first one I call Horizons, and it's basically a bunch of searches that help me to find different things. So the first one is my plan the day workflow. You can see this, I did a video on how I um, kind of plan my day using this system. So if you wanna watch that video, I'll put the, the link above and you can go in and watch that. Also have links to this week. So everything that's coming up this week, at the moment I haven't planned my week. <laughs> just Monday morning. So there's not much in here except all of my events. But this is this is so I can rather than just get bogged down in like the day, I can quickly see oh what's coming up this week? Should I move this task to this day or that kind of thing. So it's really good to see that at a glance on my day page and literally, you know, as I'm working on my day page, I can just open this up and I can see it straight away. So I do the same for this month. So I can view all of the events that are coming up, everything that I've had on, that kind of thing. So I find that really helpful just as a, at a glance to see the month. My future log is anything that is any events that are coming up that are that are further than a month away. So kind of further than 30 days. So I don't see them in this month, but the things that are coming up, I actually have nothing exciting coming up because all my exciting things have already happened this year, but we'll, I'll plan some more. The next tab is for all of my active projects. So I can get into my projects pretty quickly and I can see what's coming up or check on something, that kind of thing. And then I have a tab that is this time last year. And so I can open up this here. I'll just view this as a list. I can open this up and actually, you can actually see my day page from the year before. And I don't look at that every single day, but I do find it fun to kind of have a look and see, you know, what was I thinking? What was I doing? What was I working on kind of this time last year? So that's my horizons tab. And the reason it's horizons is I want to be able to see the different kinds of horizons. So I've got the, you know, the, the, the day. And as I plan the day, I've got this week, this month, the future, active things. And so it just helps me to get in context. The other two nodes that I have is my Spark Journal. So this is where I keep anything that I've been reading, listening to, watching, all of those notes, they come in here to my Spark Journal. Every morning I have a practice where I open up my Spark Journal and I choose a node and I start to write. So this really helps to be on my day page because it's something I use every single day and I'm always kind of getting into it and, and this is kind of where a lot of my idea generation happens. Okay, so I like to have that there. And then the third thing that I have is my content runway. And so this is all of the content that is coming up for me. A lot of my work revolves around content. So that's why Content Runway lives on my day page. So those are the three things that kind of live at the top of my day page. I can easily get to, I use them all the time. I'm always opening and closing them. So it makes sense to have them right at the top of the page. Other than that, the rest of the page is just for offloading my thoughts. I usually start my day with a bit of a journal. So I'll, I'll create a journal entry, tag that, and as things, as I need to get things out of my head, I just use the blank space on the page. On the right hand side of the page is now my new related content section. And I find that it's really cleaned up uh, my day page and I have room really now to work in my day page and have everything that I need kind of on the side here. So the first related content section that I have is called quick tasks. And so these are things that I haven't scheduled in the day, but they're, you know, they can be done in, you know, two to five minutes. Okay. So I always keep my follow up list here. So if I need to, if I've got space in the day and I can call someone, I'll, I'll call them emails I need to send, you know, all, all sorts of things. So just little things that I don't necessarily schedule into my agenda. The next part is my agenda. And so this is where all of my events come in. I time block times where I'll do different tasks. And so I basically have four um, parts to my day. First thing, so that's anything before nine o'clock. Um, morning, any from, anything from kind of nine till 12 or one. Afternoon, anything from one till five. And then evening, anything that's happening after five. But, so that's my agenda. And then I use Google, the Google Calendar integration to get all of those events in there automatically. Okay, so before the Google Calendar integration, I was every morning putting in my events for the day, which I don't mind. I don't mind a bit of manual work, but it really has 
just been able to open me up to know everything's in there and then I can focus on on the things that are that are important in my day rather than data entry. All right, so as we kind of come down, I have another section here that's called today's accomplishments. So anytime I mark a task as done, it comes into today's accomplishments and this really helps me understand how much I have got done throughout the day. And so I found that I needed to add this in because some days you get through the day and you think, gee, that was a really bad day. But what actually happens is the day was actually really good and you actually accomplish a lot, but you forgot because, you know, there's just a lot happening. And so I find this is just a really good reminder for me that actually I get a lot done, even if it's not the things that I thought I wanted to get done, but I do accomplish a lot every day. So my next section is the pinned items. So on any node, I can add a field that is pinned or that says pinned. So if I come all the way down here, you can see pinned and it's ticked. And so that will add it here into this related search. And this I reserve for, it can be anything, okay? But a lot of the, the things that end up here, my atomic ideas, so they are ideas that I am developing. So they're kind of in active development. I wanna think about them. I want them to be at hand. And, and then there's, you know, some experiments I'm running. There is, you know, a project that I'm thinking, oh, I might want to work on that. Um, so there's a whole lot of different things. So if I want to keep it front of mind, it goes in my pinned section. And the last thing that I have is my task inbox. And I like having this in my sidebar because it reminds me that I have to get to those tasks and make sure that they, you know, get to the proper place so that I do them at that time. And so that is my day page. It feels to me simple. But that's because I built a lot of structure underneath to support me being able to just dump things into the day. Okay. And so as I, you know, tag things with today, as tasks come up that I have to do today, they're already in my agenda. Okay. I'm not having to search for them somewhere else. I'm not having to bring things in every day. When I open up my day page, everything that I need is already there because past Ev has, you know, done the work. So I hope you like this walkthrough of my daily page. And I hope it inspires you to create your own day page that helps you get things out of your head and get your best work done. And if you liked this video, then I think you might also like to watch this other video I did a few months ago on three no fail ways to journal using your day page in Tana. And as always, don't forget to hit subscribe if you like Tana and you want more great videos like this in your feed.